Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Unit 5, Lesson 2, and today we're going to learn how to name type 3 compounds. So we're dealing with binary compounds, only two elements. Um, the first type we've learned how to do is type 1, right? Where you have a metal and a non-metal, and your metal only has one charge in the box. The second type we learned how to do was type 2, and that's when you have a metal and a non-metal, but your metal has multiple oxidation states. And today we're going to learn how to name type 3. And type 3 compounds, you do not have a metal. Okay? So what that means is you either have a non-metal bonded to a non-metal, or you have a semi-metal bonded to a non-metal. And these ones are pretty straightforward. You will name the non-metal, name the element, sorry, excuse me, name the first element first, name the second element, drop the ending, and add I-D-E, and then, this is unique, this is different, this is, we, we use prefixes to indicate the number of atoms of each element. So if you have one atom, you use mon, but only for the second element. Um, if you have two atoms, whether it's first or second element, you use di. Three atoms is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hecta, seven up, hepta, eight is octa, nine is nona, and ten is de deca. And you will have to memorize these. Actually, you only have to memorize the first four because five through ten are found on table, I forget which one it is. It's actually for something else, but it works. Table P of the prefixes, okay? So let's say we had CCL4. This is a nonmetal, and this is a nonmetal. You would name the first element first, that's carbon, okay? You'd name the second element, leave a little space, drop the ending, and add IDE, chloride. And then you look at how many of them there are. How many carbons are there in this compound? There's only one. Well, one gets the prefix mon, but we only use mon for the second element, so we're not going to use that for carbon. The second element has chlorine, there's four of, and the prefix for four is tetra. So this is carbon tetrachloro. Carbon tetrachloro. Okay? We'll try a couple more. Let's say we had N2O3, right? This is a nonmetal. This is a nonmetal. So we name our first nonmetal nitrogen. We name our second nonmetal, drop the ending and add IDE, nitrogen oxide. There are two nitrogens. The prefix for two, if you look on that chart, is di. There are three oxygens. The prefix for three is tri. So this is dinitrogen trioxide. Okay? I'd like you to try a couple for tomorrow. Again, you could do them right on the back of the flow chart or wherever you've been doing that. Let's try, um, hmm, let's try O2, F2. Okay? And let's try P, F6. Okay? So I'd like you to do both of these for tomorrow, and um, when you come in, we'll start learning how to name non-binary compounds tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.